Roger, the big day is finally here. Sakir taking in his biggest assignment. How has he wintered? He's wintered very well. Um, he's actually been very smooth. Um, trained nicely through the spring. Obviously had the race course gallop at Newmarket a couple of weeks ago. You know, in his condition, I think he looks fantastic this week. You know, a few days out from a race. And um, fingers crossed we get a smooth passage over the next two or three days. Was it always the plan over the winter that he would go straight to the 2000 guineas and not go in the trial circuit? I think I always le leaned that way. If we were going to trial him, I think I'd have taken him to Newbury for the Greenham. I didn't think one of the Newmarket races really fit. I didn't want to go a mile in the Craven. And, um, but what, what worries me, our trials come very close to the guineas and Saki is a very exuberant horse. Um, a very willing horse and he could really put in a, a very strong performance off a layoff and I didn't want him to leave his guineas run in a trial with them being so close together and especially as things turned out and we got the heavy ground at, at Newbury you know that, that might have left more questions than answers and I didn't want to get in a tangle and he's a, a very easy horse to train at home I thought we could get him 100% for the guineas without a trial. Were your questions answered in the racecourse gallop? Or was that everything that you'd like to have seen at that stage before the Guineas? To be honest, I didn't really take him there to get questions answered. Um, if you watched it, you know, it wasn't actually a strenuous exercise. It was more about getting him away from here for a day, getting him a day out, just allowing that work to happen under our terms, you know, let it bring him on. And, you know, his, his harder works happen behind the scenes, you know, here. Coming into Coming into this season, we have a limited sample size to go off, but, but the fact his Mill Reef win was befitting of the namesake horse itself, the speed and the turn of foot that he showed, it was, it was race over in two strides. Yeah, he's, you know, he's one of those rare horses who looks, looks very good at home and seems to be able to translate it to the race course. We have on occasion those horses who look uh, <laughs> exceptionally good in the morning and can't quite do it in the afternoon. but. You know, he, he's really an unbelievably good workhorse. And, um, you know, his, his three runs, I'd include his first run, although he didn't win, was still a very good debut. But certainly the follow-up at Haydock and the Mill Reef win, um, you know, were eye-catchingly good performances. And, you know, that's, that's how he looked at home. It was nice to see it happen on the track. And I have to say, you know, this spring, his, his work's been, you know, exceptionally good good still so we're all looking forward to the 2000 guineas and um, you know whether he stays a mile or not uh, you know with the speed that he obviously has you know we'll just have to see. That's a, it's, it's a question that's been asked plenty over how exactly will he cope with the mile he, he is bred for that kind of test and you would imagine just on the basis of it that it shouldn't be a problem it, are we only asking that question because of the speed that he's shown in the turn of foot? I think probably we are, and how dominant he's, he was in the Mill Reef over six furlongs. Um, but I agree with you, his pedigree you know, gives him every chance to stay in a mile. He's actually got a very good mind, a very professional horse. I think on the day he'll give, him, give himself every chance. Um, you know, we don't know because we haven't ever tested him on the race course beyond six furlongs, and it's not something that we emulate at home. We don't get him stretching out over a mile under race circumstance at home. So, you know, we, we, we will really only know for sure on Saturday afternoon. Uh, we're very hopeful he'll stay the mile. Um, I think he's an exceptionally good racehorse. Uh, it's just whether he, he is at, at a mile or whether we will be back over sprinting distances later in the year, we'll just have to see. Has anything throughout his career up until now surprised you? Were you always quite confident that he was going to be able to, to cut it at group and, and pattern class from, from the early stages? Well, I think once we had him up uh, in his speed work last year as a two-year-old, um, you know, he was visually a good workhorse. And um, Ben Morris, who's ridden him almost every day since he arrived, um, you know, he'd be a good judge, Ben, and he'd know what he's sitting on. He 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 was always uh, sure he was sat on on a good horse. Um, but I've been doing it long enough now that usually they're not quite as good as you hope or want them to be. So until we saw that on a race course and. You know, even as, as good as he was winning the novice at Haydock, 
you go into a mill reef and it's a big jump up in class. You know, I, I needed to see that in the afternoon at Newbury before I sort of believed he, he could be as good as, as we all hoped he would be. I'm sure you're not going to be divulging training secrets to me if I, if I ask this question, but is there a massive difference between training a horse for a race like the 2000 Guineas over a mile and a sprint training for a race like the Commonwealth Cup? Not, not a huge difference, to be honest. Um, you know, you want your horse fit, healthy, and not too fresh. Um, you, we can get uh, too tangled up, trying too many different things. Um, you know, he's either gonna get the mile or not. I can't train him to get the mile. Um, I can train him to be 110% ready on the day, and however the race pans out, we'll, we'll accept it uh, afterwards. But. No, he's in great form, we're very happy with him and we're looking forward to running him. He's not your only representative in the race, you've also got Charon who did go the trail circuit mm -hmm. and despite difficult conditions has probably shown you, I'd imagine, what you, exactly what you wanted to see in the green and would that be fair? 100% yeah, no, we were very keen to trial Charon, it was certainly the plan all winter to take him to the green um, He's a very laid back individual, he's got a wonderful attitude actually, very, very laid back about life. It would be hard for me to really ready him 110% for the big day, so I thought he, he would be a horse who'd really benefit from a trial. And um, we also learnt a bit about him, you know, I thought he was very strong through the line under very testing conditions, you know, which gives us every encouragement that, that he will stay a mile. Of course, he hadn't raced beyond six furlongs either going into Newbury, so I um, thought that was a very beneficial trial. I thought he ran well and we, we learnt a little bit. He's also got quite a speedy pedigree as well and, and plenty of um, stakes class two-year-old performers in there. It must have been really satisfying to see that not only did he seem to go well through the seven and stay through the line, but testing conditions seven furlong at this stage of his career would give you every hope that a mile w would be of a benefit to him. Definitely. You know, I think um, he shaped in his two-year-old races like he'd definitely get the seven. I thought he shaped him a green him like he'd, he'd definitely stay a mile. So. Um, you know, he's a, he, he's a classy horse, um, I think he's rock solid, uh, very dependable, um, very uncomplicated. He's definitely uh, come forward from a green and run. I think he'll strip fitter, straighter, be a little bit more switched on, you know, at Newmarket. And um, yeah, I think he, he could run a very good race. Will Olivia Moralda be heading to the Thousand Guineas? She will, yeah, she will. Um, She's trained lovely all spring. We, we, had her we had her declare to run in the Fred Darling at Newbury. And um, I didn't fancy that on heavy ground. I thought uh, we, we might have left a bit there. So we took her out and she's trained, you know, lovely the 10 days since. And we'd look forward to running her in the 1,000 guineas. I think the bit of form that she showed in the debutante stakes at Vaccaro last year reads very well. And um, she's obviously an outsider and a big price, but. I'd see her running a nice race. To come within a length of Meditate, who we all know what she went on to do at the back end of last year, is rock solid form. And yeah. when exactly did she come to the stable? She raced with, for Michael O'Callaghan as a two-year-old. I think she came early in February. So we've had her a little while. And everything that you would like to have seen coming into this kind of campaign, first up, stable debut in a classic is, is no mean feat. Yeah, she's... Um, you know, credit, credit, credit to Michael and his team. She, she arrived to us in good condition and she seems very uncomplicated. She's good in her work. She shows lots of ability. Uh, the mile looks like it would be within her reach, especially the way she stayed on at the car over seven furlongs. Um, you know, we'll learn a bit on Sunday, won't we? It's a first run for us, but at home we've been very happy with her. A horse that you do know plenty about at this stage is the filly Al Husson, who has an entry in the, in the nine furlong Dahlia stakes, so mm. a group three. Would she be likely to take up that entry? She will do, yeah. Yeah, that's her plan. And it's been the softly, softly approach with her, just going up the grades and this mm. will be a first crack at pattern class. Yeah, she's, uh, she's a lovely filly from a family we know very well and uh, she should get better with age. Um, she's shown a liking to the Rowley Mile previously, having won competitive Philly's handicaps on her last two starts over a mile and a mile and a quarter. I think the nine furlongs would be a lovely trip to get her season started. She's uncomplicated with regards to ground. She seems to go well at the track. She'd need to improve a few pounds, but she's relatively lightly raced and 
she should be better at four. So we see it as a good starting point and we look forward to running her. I'm particularly looking forward to seeing if Azure Angel turns up on Guinea's weekend because mm. there are two options, aren't there? She has two options. I'm not sure in my mind where we're going yet. It's quite a nice Phillies handicap at Windsor in two weeks' time. So whether she runs or not this weekend, we need to do a little bit more work with her this week. But she's starting to train really nicely. And um, yeah, for the season ahead, she's a nice filly. One horse who did take in the Craven meeting was St. Lawrence, who was out earlier than he was this time mm. last season yeah. when he was third in the Palace House. So yeah. how has he come out of that run? Yeah, he's come out really well. He actually ran very well, better than his finishing position would suggest. He was he was uh, racing you know, towards a, the back of a field in a very slowly run sprint race. So when the, when the speed increased with three to run, I guess we were, we were out of position, but that was no one's fault. That's how we wanted to ride him that day. He finished his race off nicely. He's come out of a race really well. And yes, he could run him the, the six furlong handicap. So, which would be a very competitive race, but he's a fairly hardened handicapper at this stage and he takes his racing quite well. I think if you look back to his um, Palace House run and even his um, King Stand run last year, you know, that's pretty, pretty solid sprint form. Um, not the most consistent, uh, perhaps, but I think when he does bring his A game, he's capable to, to bring home a big prize. What does it mean as a new market trainer to be going to the Roly Mile with not just a classic contender, but with strength and depth across the board for some of the undercard races? This is a home meeting. Mm -hmm. It's probably the biggest home meeting that, that you can have as a new market trainer. Yeah, uh, I don't really look at it as a, a home meeting or, or new market. You know, we. You know, from, from now on in, we're going to be going, you know, big weekends and, and festival meets, you know, whether that's York or, you know, Chester, Epsom, we'll be at Ascot soon, you know, it's, it's ready in, uh, you know, good horses for good races and um, the location sort of brushes over us a little bit, but uh, I, I would see it more as going into a, a Guineas meeting, you know, same as going into a Royal Ascot or a... Goodwood or, or York, you know, you want to take, you want to be competitive. So you want to be taking nice horses, you know, in the rice races, you know, capable to contest, you know, for, for a few wins. And I think we're doing that this weekend. So that in itself is exciting. And um, hopefully we can do that uh, throughout the year. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.